I was born in the region of Jambul, which is in South Kazakhstan. My mother used to be a history teacher in a village called Asa, and my father was a journalist there. Now I was retired and living in the city of Taraz. I'm Janet Japaro at Harvard. I've been doing my master's degree in mathematics for teaching since 2017, and this is my last year. So planning to apply for a PhD in leadership and education. I got my education in the Republic of Kazakhstan right after the collapse of Soviet Union. At the time, it was almost incomprehensible to be accepted by Harvard. However, I was one of the luckiest persons who went to the prestigious Turkish professional high school in Taraz, which gave me hope and helped me to understand the importance of education. Entering Boylston, no smoking please. Doors will open on the right. Success doesn't happen overnight. I failed so many times in all standardized tests like TOEFL, GRE, IELTS, etc. I was super bad in learning English. At a certain point, I was crying about my failure. It was a terrible feeling. Then gradually, my scores started to rise after dozens of trials. I realized that all these failures were not what I was thinking. They were leading to success one step at a time. So my message to your prospective students is don't give up on your way. Together with Central Asian at Harvard, we founded Casa Harvard in fall of 2019. Before that, uh, there wasn't any club or association responding to the social and cultural needs of the Central Asians at Harvard. We felt need for the club which potentially could help to organize and unite us. So I applied for the club in October 2019. After a stressful month, Harvard University finally approved the club as a university-wide student organization. Harvard helped me to understand how important every single day is that I can learn something new. The camp surrounded by highly motivated and educated people encouraged me to study more independently. Also, Harvard helped me to develop my own opinion about the world. In that world, my students and I want to rewrite the world. I may not, but I believe it is in the capacity of my students to change the world.